Columbus Podcasting and Columbus Media Group bring you Talk with Mike and Tom. This is Episode 5. I don't know if you have it saved as Episode 5 because we had some technical difficulties, Mike. But well, I'll tell you, Tom, uh, we've been doing this now for uh, give or take 20 years, and it's only Episode 5. I mean, what what's up with that, well, really? Well, it's uh, the new improved Talk with Mike and Tom. This is the retired professor version where retired oh, professors uh, oh. talk about whatever occurs to them to talk about. Yeah, that, that gives us license to uh, go just about anywhere, even though we have no expertise in the area. Yeah, I understand. yeah and that's uh, actually where we're going today. All we're right. going well, to I a like place it. where we have very little expertise, but we're acting as if with a vision for the future. And that is I'm a little bit hesitant to even broach this subject because it's a little bit like the the Seinfeld show where you had a show about nothing. Well, right. This is right. a podcast about podcasting. Okay, so, so. we're we are going to talk about podcasting today. Um, I'm not sure I'm ready for this topic. I think you've got some pretty hard questions you're going to throw out, and I'm going to not look so great on the podcast, not being able to answer them. Uh, but that's never stopped me yet. So we'll just kind of keep going and see where this this lands. But I'm uh, I'm happy to be here, and I like the idea of podcasting. Listen, I listen to podcasts all the time, and so do my friends and people I know. And that was not the case some five years ago. So what in the world right. happened that made all of us connect to podcasting? I just I'm not sure how that it, it overtook us before we were able to figure it out. So what are you watching? I mean, when you when you say you're watching podcasts, you obvi- well, obviously have... Well, for the most part, but watching. Okay. And now I want to talk about the difference okay. uh, between that, because some people, and we've had people in the studio here who say, oh, podcast, that's just an audio yeah. uh, podcast. I said, no, it's both. You can have both video and audio podcasts. So I'll make a point of that, and we'll come back and, and talk about that. So so you're wa- listening to some and watching others. That is correct. As a matter of fact, um, there, there are just some of my favorites out there that I watch, but I, I'm not the guy, I'm not the fanboy type too mm-hmm. much. Uh, I want to get a variety of things. I want to be informed about what's going on. Um, we've had lots of talks and been out to lunch with people, and they, we, we somehow uh, drift back down into politics, and, and it's a terrible topic right yeah. now. I'm not interested too much in that. Uh, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm using podcasts to get away from some of the stuff that's happening in, right. in the political Right, ex- it's escapism. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, it is, but I, not, not just that. I think it's a continuation of, uh, of sort of the lifelong learning notion. We talked about that when we were yeah. at the university uh, some years ago. Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, I, I know you're a fan of that. I think, you know, learning is just part of life, and we should really, you know, figure out those things we're interested in and find out more. I learned better when I was younger. Now that I'm a retired professor, I find that the old gray matter doesn't move as quickly or, <laughs> or store as much or something. I, you know, the, it, it doesn't always connect up. But you know, I I, uh, I watch and listen to podcasts too. Sure. And uh, the ones I sort of gravitate to revolve around music, and especially right. around guitar playing. So. Right. See, that's your interest. Right. And and I think everybody has those interests. That's yours. And wow, how great is it that you can go out and scan the podcast and look at what's available out there and find something that really fits. Because if you just say, I'm interested in music, I'm interested in guitar, right. well, those are universes That's right. uh, full of podcasts. So yeah. as you narrow it down, you really begin to find things that you're interested in that fits exactly with your interests. That I find fascinating. Well, it's a huge world, too, because just when I'll be searching one thing, other things will show up in my potential queue. Right. And right. I'll say, hey, that looks good. It's sort of clickbait, so I'll click on it, right. and it'll be... I'll be a fan of a new podcast. So now I have several <laughs> right. that I'm subscribed to, right. and they pop up in my text and say, okay, hey, your podcast is ready, or we got a new one, or there's a live one. And, and I find that uh, I'm constantly distracted by these things away from the old things, which were cable television. That's my wife is a right. cable television person. Right. But I'll be sitting there checking out these podcasts. 
typically on guitar, but a right. lot of other things. Could, could be could be just about anything. Yeah. And I I don't know if it's replacing commercial television and what we're watching with the the traditional broadcast uh, channels or the cable channels that we all have now. And we have you know a thousand cable channels. That's, yeah. You can't find anything to watch. That's the usual joke right. that people say. Right. Um, but I think uh, there is a shift here. More and more people are listening and and finding podcasts that fit for what they're interested in. And boy, is it it's it's so much fun. And here's the thing that I, that I heard you say: you subscribed. Right. So what does that mean uh, from your point of view? What's the subscription to these things? Well, and. And this is a, a new deal for me. I mean, really, originally, I was turned on to it by my sons, who have moved totally away from cable television. Wow. Okay. None of the three of them have they, they've cable cut the cable as people They cut saw the cable. That, yeah. no, no satellite dish. The old model doesn't work for them, just like they don't have phones in their homes. Right. Well, you know, it's, it's yeah. really interesting. When you think about the television shows, even the the really good situation comedies, and the, sometimes they have the laugh track, and they have these kind of things, but but they they um, also are canned and because they're in, uh, you know, a 30-minute show is actually 22 minutes, and yep. you've got all these commercials in there, and it comes on at a certain time. Yep. You have to be there at that time to watch the latest one. Right. Now, you could use the uh, recorder, uh, video recorder of some sort, uh, to, you know, record and watch it later. Yeah. But that takes a certain amount of, you know, planning and, and those kind of things. But so the original television cable channels, traditional broadcast channels, lock you into a time and date. And you have to be there to watch it. Well, here's the, here's the thing about podcasting that makes it, to my to my way of thinking, sure. a little bit different from what uh, the older models or the previous models were. Mm-hmm. It's an anywhere, anytime thing. Okay. If you have a smartphone, we all do. Right. There, it's ubiquitous. So if you have a smartphone... Okay, these you, podcasts are on your smartphone. Yeah. You, right, I just want to emphasize that. Thing. Right. Well, if you have a smartphone, you can access it, and you uh, can put in earbuds... And listen to them anywhere. Or uh, when I was driving down here today, I yeah. was listening to podcasts. Okay. One watching it. It was a video cast. One watching it. Watching driving it. safely. Keep your eyes on the road. But yeah. I was listening to it in the car with yeah. Bluetooth. So yeah. anywhere, anytime. Yeah. And I think that makes That's it amazing, really different. It? And at the same time, it's a longer longer format a lot of times. I wanted, I'm glad you mentioned that because I wanted to talk about it. You know, some of these podcasts that I've subscribed to can go three hours. Right. They're generally around two hours. Yes. Now, who's got two hours of straight sitting and or listening or walking or exercising and listening to two hours of some, anything? But uh, th- there's there's something very appealing to these long-form conversations. And I think these podcasts, for the most part, or conversations, and we're not used to uh, listening to a three-hour conversation. When did that happen? That sounds like something really out of sci-fi or something. I'm not sure. Uh, something's changed that that yeah. changed our attention yeah. uh, to it a little bit. What do you think? Well, I I, I can't really give you a uh, a why or how that developed, but I will tell you how it manifests. So my okay. youngest son is an artist. He he draws cartoons, and oh, okay. that's cool. uh, that's a high intensity artistic endeavor. He'll right. sit there and draw three, four hours, sometimes right. hours at, at the time. Yeah, and and you know it's not his day gig, so he'll be doing that at night at home. Right. Okay. Well, he'll also have a podcast hooked up to his television. Right. And the first time I glommed onto this, I, 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 I heard the conversation right. and I went back to his room and I uh, looked at uh, what was on the television and it was essentially what we see right here. Two guys on microphones talking about a subject he was interested in. Wow. And I said, what is that? And he said, well, it's a podcast and it's this subject and it's something that I listen to virtually every night. You know, that is so interesting. And, and and so, you know, in the conversations, you probably know me by now. I'm listening to you uh, respond to a question, and then I'm picking out some part of what you just said, and I'm going to do it right now. Yeah. 
You said he had it hooked up to the television. Right, right. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. You just said it was on uh, smartphones. Okay, well, I know the answer to that question, so uh, sorry. but uh, Yeah, well, the answer <laughs> is he had originally watched it on his laptop and had his laptop sitting on his desk while he was drawing. And he decided, right. well, why don't I have high def, high, uh, <laughs> have it big, have them have the sound playing through the stereo where it's blasting through the whole house, and so he hooked it up to his television. But he could have hooked his smartphone up to the television, or he could have been outside with just the smartphone and earbuds and not watch the thing. But the, th- the point is... I love is, this guy. I'm just saying. Go ahead. Well, but I think he is the guy. He right. is the millennial guy. Yes. And, and now... Yes. He's a college graduate. He's now out of the house. He has a gig. He lives in an apartment. Yeah. He's still doing the same thing. Right. He has a new son. He's Good. watching podcasts, takes care of the son when he's home, and the wife's working, that kind of thing. And so, doing, it, doing his artwork as he goes along. It does Absolutely. He's got the desk in the middle of the living room with the artwork on it. And uh, it's again, it's not his day gig, but he's working on a project he has hopes for. So, you know, but... The the point is, anywhere, anytime, and oh, by the way, once it's, he might catch it live, he might not catch it live. That's okay, because it's posted to iTunes, he just downloads it and, and goes and watches it. So this is a new format, and the thing is, he's, he's the age of uh, what we think of as a millennial. Now right. most of them are, po- are college graduates, career, beginning careers, beginning Correct. families. Well, there's a whole new set of kids who are in college now and high schools that they have their own set of podcasts about a variety of things that I can't imagine and I probably wouldn't be interested in them anyway. <laughs> you may but, not be. You but never the thing know. is, now suddenly you have something that's not exponential but virtually infinite. And it's a infinite broadcasting and there is every kind of niche imaginable. Yes. And th- you're only limited. If you make a podcast, yes. you're only limited by your imagination. So just a quick aside. Okay. Perhaps this is uploaded to iTunes. Someone else wants to do a podcast. And so they Google how to do a podcast. Mm-hmm. and they Or they type that into iTunes or they type it into YouTube and... We pop up. Well, that would be interesting because, um, as a matter of fact, we're here in Columbus Media Group studio yeah. for Columbus Podcasting, and you just saw the graphic come up just a second ago, so yeah. that's what we do. Yep. Uh, we build podcasts, and we help you create your own podcast, and we're about to open for business, and it's very interesting time around here, and we're having a lot of fun. So Right. It's a lot of fun, and the thing is, is we're just now developing our business message. Whereas right. we've been in broadcasting now going almost 20 years, Mike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and sure. we did the sort of traditional television model with television programming. We did it online, but still right. we had a, we did that for the university, Columbus State University. Sure. On the local them. cable channels too and the yep. internet worldwide. Yeah. So it was, it was traditional, what we think of as traditional television. Well, now this is a totally different endeavor. And so we're developing a business model around this, and I think uh, today we had a we had sort of a call with a potential client, and sure. uh, uh, we had a business meeting, and we were working with one of our talent, Jeff Conklin, who uh, amazing you know, guy, yes, yeah, amazing yeah. guy, and and trying to figure out a format for him. He'll be a regular programming guy. Yeah, he has a lot to say on a lot of mm-hmm. topics. Don't get him started, is what he said the other day. So, yeah, I guess we are going to get him started, right? Incidentally. So Jeff's coming in, so look out, everybody. I wish, we had, well, I wish we'd had the podcasting equipment at lunch, because that was right. the podcast. That's right. Although, I don't know if he's prepared to share all those things no, on we, television. No, there, there will be too many uh, beeps and uh, censoring <laughs> going on there, so... But, yeah, isn't this fascinating? And I'm glad we're in this place right now. I'm glad we're working on this. And I, I appreciate what everybody's done as we build Columbus Podcasting and get people in and, yeah. and start uh, this this uh, 
this business on First Avenue, downtown Columbus, a great and exciting place to be. It's all moving fast down here. Uh, we're helping new entrepreneurs. We're helping new upstart businesses, the brand new restaurants and clubs and, and businesses that are on in this area. We're going we're gonna to help them develop a podcast because I think it's really important that businesses have podcasts. So why do you think that is? I know we talked about so far that we enjoy them for our personal entertainment and yeah. education, but why does a business need a podcast? I guess that's a good question, right? Well, first thing, First Avenue, Uptown Columbus, where the Columbus Media Group headquarters are located and also the the Columbus Podcasting Studios are located. Uh, that's First Avenue is exploding. And it really is. I mean, we're not just saying that. It, it's it, amazing. And everybody we talked to so far has said the same thing. Well, so, you have yeah. that. We talked to a couple of business owners today, and they're really exciting. And, and they're really excited about the idea that First Avenue is going to be the new thing for this city, this growing southern city. Second right. thing in the news, and uh, uh, I guess it was in the news this morning, is uh, – uh, development of a convention hotel right by the convention and trade center. Right. So there's an existing hotel, but it's going to practically double in size and have a walkway over to the convention center. Wow. That okay. was in the paper this morning, but we walked by a second brand new hotel being yes, developed we did on the way to lunch. Yeah. Right, right next door to Columbus State University property on Broadway, and then I guess four storefronts down a a boutique hotel yes. is being developed by a, a capital investment group and that's on Broadway but what's happening on First Avenue one one block removed from Broadway is that the spillover from what initially was Broadway is now spilling over to First Avenue and there are all First kinds time. of new things to include uh, some uh, international businesses in brand new areas and of course the building where we're located uh, a lot of uh, uh, yes. law law endeavors, legal, right. legal uh, I guess, uh, attorneys are located here and attorney groups. And uh, that tells me something, too, that, that that is just a part of growth for a community. So yeah. so you say, well, what about podcasting? Well, podcasting gives you a truly international reach. And Anyone in the world may access your podcast if they're just interested in the subject as it's cataloged in the podcasting realm. Right. And, you know, I was thinking this is a little bit off the topic, but if you're just interested in Columbus, in the Columbus area, Columbus, yeah. Georgia, maybe you're coming here. You don't know much about it. So that's one way to do it as well. But it sounds like that businesses can can really benefit from having a podcast about their business, but more importantly, about what's behind their business, their story, in other words, getting to know the customers, getting to know uh, and spread the word about what brought them to Columbus. What was it about starting a business down here? Um, how can they share it with their customers and potential new customers as well? It sounds like it's about storytelling in a way. Well, it's a great time to begin because it suddenly is the time is right for podcasting. It's something that maybe not folks of a certain age, we be in the certain age, uh -oh, may not be totally engaged with the podcasting thing as much as you you and I. We, right, we, right. we are, uh, but uh, maybe right. some some folks are not. But certainly from anyone from their for early 40s on back, they are, they are into the podcast world. Right. And they I, use it every day, like your son you were talking about. You did it on the way down. Yeah. I do it. I'll probably do it right after this show. Right. All of those kind of things, because I want to catch up with what this guy is saying about that subject. That's right. Now insert it, it, the particular name and the particular subject. But uh, what a great way to learn is is through this uh, kind of natural thing of listening to others talk, but listening to the conversation and how people ask questions and learn from each other, and that whole process of the conversation is sort of the art of the conversation, I think, that's, that's pulling us into this podcast idea. Well, going back to the whole idea of guitar playing and my uh, 
one of my big interests, right? Sure. Uh, I'm familiar with a a uh, guitar store okay. uh, from up uh, north part of the United States. Okay. And familiar with one in the United Kingdom. Okay. Why? Why those two <laughs> guitar stores? Well, they do podcasts. Right. And they have shows. Wow. Okay. And they have personalities that are on those shows. And I watch to entertain myself to see what they're doing. But they also sell, these guys, thousands of musical instruments. Okay. And they sell them worldwide. I mean, I, we're talking about uh, a, a group in the United Kingdom and a group uh, north part of the United States. So you, you're really talking about a, a, a business venture that sells product. Oh, They're yeah. selling products. And the traditional advertising would be uh, to put on an ad on Facebook. I guess now it's traditional, you might say, yeah. if this Facebook's been around. But on television or local newspapers and advertising and things like that. But they are going beyond that to add podcasts as a part of their advertising and PR campaigns. But these aren't the national national uh big box store guitar stores that right. and we know we know that brand and right, and that's right. a great brand and they sell a lot of instruments too. Right. No, these guys are local guitar stores that sell wow. internationally and the way they sell their podcasts are not commercials. Their podcasts are high interest shows. Well, one one is a uh, a show with uh, two guys and they do blindfold tests on musical instruments. Can you guess what instrument? That, I, I, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just fascinating. And the other, other one, the United States uh, uh, group, and if you're a guitar player, you know the guy's name. Right. He's a, now an international star yep. based on this podcast because, one, he is a great player, and he's fun to watch demonstrate guitars, and he's drop-dead funny. Right. So... What they bring to their podcast is not a commercial. They what they bring is a high interest, sense of humor, entertainment, ex, a lot of expertise. Because okay. first, okay. first the guys can play. All right. these guys they're can good. play. Right. They're so good they're good. They're good. Math, so yeah. if you're a musician, you're going to watch the guy the, these guys just to see what they're up to, <laughs> and ultimately it becomes a hangout. And oh, by the way, oh. their businesses are household names among a niche guitar players but remember there are gazillions of guitar players yeah so why are, these why these guys right i mean well, they're great at their craft but right. why these guys they are exactly. they're they're using this podcast medium to to really connect with their fans their people and newcomers and others uh, it's about personality as well you mentioned that list there i'm yep. kind of thinking that these you know, we're intrigued with how people, who, who, who are the celebrity, what's behind the celebrity that we get in the, in the media, and is this the real person? And we get to know who that is. We get to know their sense of humor and how they react to things and, and so forth. I'm fascinated with people. I have degrees in psychology, I have to admit, and I uh, always found people fascinating. So for me, this podcast idea it gets beyond just the surface. It actually tells us, okay, I'm hearing this person. I'm beginning to understand who they are as a person. I'm I'm connecting with them over this podcasting idea. Well, you you mentioned something else too. Yeah, uh, really, two things. One is the idea of expertise. Right. See, for me, expertise is going to be a a draw. So if I'm building yeah. bridges on my tornado damaged property. I'm going to look up podcasts on how to build bridges and video on how to build bridges, right? I'll I'll just add I'm a big fan of credentials. Yeah. Uh, so right. I need that expertise right. and I need to find the person that can tell me how to do the thing I want to do. So that's always that's that's been something that is a result of the internet and YouTube and other kinds of platforms that I found the answer to questions, but then when I do that, I begin to figure out who's who. And who am I interested in and what, what's that all about? Well, the other thing you talk a lot about, and I think you're absolutely right about this, is the idea of, of do you have a story to tell? And I think that traditional broadcasting, and I'm not ripping on traditional broadcasting because no. it's a, a gazillion-dollar business, right? But, right? 
But, but it's being challenged, I'll have to say that. I huh? think it's being challenged from the standpoint that when you see a commercial, you automatically know you're being sold, and you right. automatically right. have your, well, you got to show me uh, hat on. And the, right. the more successful brands are no longer selling in that hard sell kind of way. If you look at uh, car insurance companies, they're all trying to outdo each other with entertainment. Oh, they are. Uh, these traditional commercials, buy my thing, buy right. my widget, whatever that is. Right. It's, it used to be out front. You know, now you can watch commercials and you really don't know what they're selling until the very end. Right. And because they're trying to capture people and they're using everything that they can. And, of course, the insurance companies have characters that and we've they're funny and they're, That's they're right. entertaining. And, yeah, but it has that branding with it as well. So there's something really interesting about the change that's coming about in the traditional advertising and commercialization that we see on television versus what's happening with these podcasts. I find that fascinating. Well, and, and to your point, they tell stories. So right. you think of, and this is, uh, uh, there's a commercial with a, uh, a green lizard, that, or Geico, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no right. other way to say no, it right, than the Geico, right? Not right? that many green but, uh, but he, lizards. But his out. is not the yeah. only story for that brand. They oh, that's have, right. That's right. I, I can't even keep track of the storylines, no. and they will... R- they will go back to them. In other words, they'll bring back characters that you That's saw right. five years ago. That's right. And, oh, there's there's the caveman The cave, again. I yeah, was going right. to say, the caveman right. is there, back. There's the camel. <laughs> and, and just on and on and on. But all right. those things, suddenly, they have tremendous name brand recognition. Absolutely. But they, the story they tell is often just basic entertainment from my way of thinking. Right, so, right. So uh, it's got to be about a story. And I think, podcasting lends itself to that whole idea of telling a story uh, where the podcaster becomes the brand because of his or her expertise and the quality of his or her story, I think. So, I think I think you're absolutely right about that. And it, it it's important, too, that the conversation, there's an art to that, and we talked yeah. about this before, but the idea of interviewing and asking the right questions, it helps a person really open up and talk about their story. Yeah. You know, this morning was a very interesting interaction with one of our potential clients who just a couple of questions, and this person really was beginning to tell their story and how they moved here and what their little bit about their life story. It just became a very interesting conversation because the setup, if you will, the questions right. brought this out and it, it allowed this person to tell their story and you wouldn't have gotten that in any other way. And I think when we bring that kind of uh, interaction into the studio, then we're going to create a podcast that's going to help people really understand who this person is, what their company is about, what their beliefs and what their really their organization, the, the, the things that are behind the yeah. group. Uh, out in front, so people can uh, take a look at that, hear it, and um, and you know pick up information they wouldn't otherwise have, but also get to know the, the these companies as people, these these individuals, and get to know who they are. And I think one of the things that happens as a result of that is you build trust with people. Right. When you hear someone and you look at, you see a video podcast, for example, you hear them talk. You can you can kind of relate. You begin to say, uh, this is not this person I can't and others would say, Yes, I kinda of agree with that. I feel connect with this person. And that connection is so strong and it builds that trust. So you know when someone's being honest and authentic. We talked about this in an earlier podcast, the idea of authenticity and being genuine and being who you are in the moment. When people do that, the rest of us listen. Right. And I think that's an important concept behind this idea of podcast. And you're listening right now to talk with Mike and Tom on Columbus broadcast or Columbus podcasting, columbuspodcasting.com. Uh, we're the Columbus Media Group. Well, y- you know, y- one of the things you talk about, Mike, is reaching a new audience. Sure. So, and it's potentially an international audience. Oh, yes. 
Can you talk a little bit about your vision for how that works? Let's say I'm a I'm a local restaurateur and I'm a, I've developed a podcast. So what happens next? And first, I'm I've never been on television. How how does all that work? Talk a little bit about that. Well, that's a, that's a that's a lot in that question. It opens up a number of things. So let me start with this. I, I found that um, if uh, you go into a store, say a local store or restaurant, and the person knows you, and you say, hey, Tom, and hey, and you kind of sit down, and, you know, that's a good feeling. That is something that, that we like to know. We like to connect with people. It's really amazing when someone calls you by name in a, in a local establishment, and you mm-hmm. feel like, okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm here. I'm, uh, this is a, I enjoyable. It kind of helps in lots of ways. So I really think that when... Um, you get to watch a podcast and you get to know this person who owns a restaurant or the person who's working at this business. And <laughs> you understand these things. You get to connect with them through the podcast. You almost feel like you know them. Yeah. And it becomes like a friend. You kind of like, okay, now if I go back into that restaurant or that business, uh, when uh, <coughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm about to cough too, so yeah, I think sorry. that's okay. Sometimes it's this a is mirror, real. It's mirror neurons. It might be, yeah, and, that's and right. also um, things happen live in, yeah, a, in right. a podcast, right? So, but but what I was trying to say is that you get to know these people through a podcast. You feel like you know them. You're going into that local business, that establishment, yeah. and you can talk with them about that. Suddenly there is that connection because you know their story. Their story has been told. Well, it comes down to recognizing that podcasts can really help your business. It can be a part of your business plan. You can incorporate it here. You can take a podcast produced here in our studio. Yeah. You can put it on your website. You can share it on social media. We can put it on our television streaming. Right. We can put it on our platform. We can engage it with thousands, if not worldwide, through people who are interested in this topic area. And you build not only build your audience, you build your brand because people begin to recognize you as a person, not, not just a business name, but a, an actual person that they can connect to. And how nice is it when you're the owner of an establishment and people come in calling you by name and uh, you're connecting with them, and wow, that's a pretty amazing experience when that happens. Mm-hmm. Podcasts can allow you to do that because you can, you can really carve out what you want your customers and your audience to know. You can talk about those topics and those areas in depth. They get a real good understanding of who you are and what you're all about, and that will bring you more business. So for the business, the entrepreneur, if I could say that word, entrepreneur, then you can use this as a great platform for telling your story. That's our main and essential mission, if you will. And what we try to do is make it fun and easy. So just like we're sitting down talking right now, and i am kind of got the camera focused on me a little bit longer now, but we have a producer. We have people who edit and put this out right. in the way that you right. want it. So, we, you know, it, we could cut out that cough that you had and I had suddenly back then if we wanted to. Yeah. But for the sake of this podcast, it makes the point yeah. that you can, you can really make a podcast work for you in the way you want and when you do that, then you've got something you're proud of, you're able to share it with other people, and I guarantee you they want to listen to that conversation. I'm, well, I'm thrilled about where, where we're going with this. Well, see, and it's really about the clicks. So ultimately, if it's uploaded, then it's, uh, it's about the clicks. Right. So first, uh, we haven't even begun to market our website yet. Not yet. And uh, we have some real uh, plans for that, and it has... Uh, two things happening. One, a television station with a live stream, and it also has video on demand through our YouTube channel. But we are also uploading videos to iTunes with the with appropriate co- code words, or I guess indexing words that right. will search ultimately terms search terms. One. I guess is what I'm trying to say, which will ultimately lead to. Anyone searching that topic will happen upon those these videos. Now that's what we're doing. Uh, I I think one thing comes to mind is we did a uh, 
we did a podcast with an Atlanta area artist, Elaine Clayton. She's wonderful. Incidentally, if you're watching this and you have not watched her podcast with talk with Mike and Tom, you really need to. It's uh, it's outstanding. She was fascinating. What a wonderful personality with with so many insights uh, and just talent. First of all, she's a great talented artist. Yep. But. Uh, the stories and the things that she was talking about, dreams and, and all this. <laughs> I really uh, encourage people to take a look at uh, the podcast with Elaine Clayton on TMT. And you can find that at Columbus Television on YouTube. So right. you go to YouTube, type in Columbus Television, two words, you'll find our website. And she's up there. Yeah, she's there and a lot of other podcasts as well. So it, subscribe too, by the way, if you can. But within <laughs> two days, she had almost 100 clicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, and... That was amazing to me because we had not really marketed it. We didn't it. do any of that marketing. Uh, yeah. She really didn't market it. Of course, she has say, she has followers. She has folks who uh, check her out on her own. She put it on her Facebook, I think, and on uh, a couple other social media platforms. Uh, Elaine had a great story. Oh, uh, uh, she had a high level of expertise in multiple areas, publishing, art, uh, intuitive healing, uh, uh, dreams, uh, areas she's published. Oh, by the way, she uh, is been published many, many times and uh, has an air uh, has expertise in the area of publishing. So all those things came into play, but I was still astonished that she had that much interest in just. A day or so. Well, I'll tell you, and this this answers continues to answer your question you asked a moment ago. But you know, getting a video out to people and putting it at marketing wise and getting it out on all of these social media platforms and other spaces where people can find it and making sure that it's indexed well so people can find it. It's on yes. iTunes, the largest platform out there for podcasts. How I many mean, viewers? Duh. Oh. Eight uh, eight hundred million. Eight hundred million. Right. That's, that's right. what I thought. I that, to that's what I thought I saw in Didn't our talking points. Didn't want to go low points. on that number, yeah. but uh, yeah, that's a lot. Well, like you say, you and I are watching. We're just one in millions uh, <laughs> right. that are doing this. So, right. but the, but the idea is that what we want to do is help per people distribute that video, get it out to those platforms. That's part of our services here uh, at Columbus uh, Podcasting. So um, you can you can use that with your own already in place. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and, and the other platforms we've mentioned, but we can help you with that as well. So I think that's an important part of it. Uh, you can always do more. You know, one, things we haven't, one of the things we haven't mentioned is the, the idea of a series. Now, some, some businesses may come in and do one podcast yeah, and maybe come back a little while later and do a second one, an updated one, that right. kind of things. A number of people, quite a few people, are doing series. Yeah. They're coming in on a weekly or every other week basis, and they're updating and talking about the new and the latest and the important things that you need to know. Uh, that series keeps subscribers connected. I find that fascinating. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's an evolving thing, too. But the whole idea of a series <coughs> is, uh, I think, first uh, the two uh, guitar stores I mentioned – uh, they have a regular series, and folks wait to see the series. So uh, it's it provides a level of visibility that you wouldn't have with maybe one podcast once watched, that's it. But if you have a series, then uh, your first podcast is good, uh, your level of expertise is high, you got a great story, but you got another one coming, and you tease that, well... Folks will uh, tune in just like they do for anything, just like any brand. Uh, the next Avengers movie, I'm going to want to see it, right, but right. I'm a fan, right? So, right, and that's uh, what right. happens when you subscribe because you get that announcement that that's clicks right. when this podcast is new, yeah. here you go. And, uh, you, you know, as a series, you can go back to earlier podcasts and look at what somebody said about something when it clicks in your interest. Right. And and again, a, a lot a lot of folks actually do that. They they refer, and we'll have links to other podcasts so that they will they will show that. So I guess my thought is that uh, you're working to reach a new audience. You're working to share your message, your story, and that uh, 
this makes it easy and uh, also fun. Uh, so the question is, can you make a podcast without a studio, professional editing, professional studio, graphics, that kind of thing? Uh, can you do it with your smartphone or your laptop? And the answer is, yeah, you can. So why, as a business, would I want to come to a studio with a professional production capability rather than to uh, uh, do it through my, say, my smartphone, out of my bedroom? Well, uh, I think that's a great question. You know, we, you said earlier, we've been working at this for over 20 years yep. now, so we know the equipment, we know yep. the latest advances in technology, we know television broadcasts, we know video production and editing. Yeah. We've done events, we've done major events, we've broadcast over 30 countries. We know how to do this now. So what we've tried to do in setting this up is to make it easy for people right. and not have to worry about all the technical issues. Now, sure, does everybody have a video camera on their phone? Uh, yes, they do. Uh, do they know how to use it to make something professional that will reach millions of people? Not quite. So there, there are some things that you need to leave to the experts. Well, in this case, we're a friendly bunch of folks. Yep. If you want to come in, chat about a podcast, we'll show you the studio. We'll sit you down, and we'll, we'll, we can show you everything you need to do. And make it easy and make it fun because we want that conversation, that conversation that helps you, not us, helps you. Uh, it will benefit us, no doubt, but, yes, we want you to have the best experience. You know, one of the things that we've done on our um, website is to uh, to uh, put together a an how-to guide. So if you'll take a look at, at this, you can download this free at uh, ColumbusPodcasting.com. And um, this actually is a, uh, a PDF that you can download on your on your uh, device, and I'll just scroll down through this, but it answers a lot of the questions about how do we do this, what do we need to do, how do we prepare, what kind of structure that you might need for a podcast, what are the questions, how do you begin, and importantly, how do you end. So I, I really think that we're, we're trying to make it easy for folks um, to be able to to come in the studio, not have to worry and build up the anxiety that sometimes is associated uh, with being on camera. The cameras are uh, uh, not obtrusive. We control that. You just have a conversation with the person that you want. It could be one of our crew or Nara, one of our staff here that do this all the time, or it could be some people that you bring in. You could bring in another partner to talk about this. You could bring in two other partners to right. talk about this. Right. It could be a group. So there, there are various ways to do that. We work that out with you ahead of time. We don't waste your time. You come in. We prepare you prior to that. You come in and you, you deliver a great podcast. Um, that's that's a, a basic foundational piece of what we're doing here at Columbus Podcasting, and that is providing this service so you don't have to worry about all of the technical pieces and how do I do that and how do I do that. We take care of all that for you, and if and we're making a good podcast for you. That's the first thing. We also uh, invite you to take a look at that website. Our pricing's reasonable. We've got some introductory offer going right now. There's a lot of things like that, so I uh, don't want to sound too commercial here, but since we're talking about podcasts, we're talking about Columbus Podcasting in specific, we want people to think about this. Take advantage of what we have to offer here. Uh, we're a new startup, but we're going to start fast and furious, and we've got a lot of people ready to come in the studio. We're going to have some on. We already have ongoing series right now in the studio. We want you to join us. We want you to be a part of this. We're, we're a growing initiative. We're downtown Columbus, and we need you to come in and take advantage of this. We'll help you do it. Well, it's quicker for you as a client. You get a product that's high quality, and to that point, I would say I have a full set of automotive repair tools at my house, and uh, periodically automobiles need repair. Right. When mine needs repair, I go to Subaru, the expert. Okay. It's done more quickly than I can do it, 
and it's done at higher quality than I could do. All right, there's and, an example right and, there. And, right. and so, uh, yeah, can you do it yourself? You can do it yourself. But all these things to get a high caliber podcast or a high caliber video or or any of those kinds of products, it it takes time, it takes practice. And one final one final point, and, and I'll sure. allude to another podcast. So we had a uh, someone come in to do a podcast, high sure. level of expertise, great story. Right. The podcast began very stilted. Right. It and does happen. Very. If we had gone on in that vein, it would not have been of the quality that just a few motivational coaching style tweaks and suddenly that passion, that excitement was there. And that's another video that's been very successful for us and been... uh, I I remember uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, you're right. I remember listening in and the idea that it was much like a job interview uh, you know, a lot yeah. of tension there, but just a few shifts there, and this this interview went from that to a great conversation, right. exciting conversation. Right. The person offered tremendous insight into technology yep. and other things that they knew about, and they were happy to share it. And I love that moment when it went from that sort of, uh oh, I'm in an interview to, wait a minute, I'm having a great conversation with a friend and I'm going to tell them everything I know about this. It was a fantastic moment for me just watching in on some of that. Well, just in the last week, we've done everything from soft skills, okay, yeah, to quantum physics, mm-hmm. wow, to That's a uh, jump right artificial there, intelligence and uh, uh, augmented reality. And, oh, yeah, dream interpretation <laughs> slash how to begin a consulting business and uh, and do public, I, just on and on. That's I in know. one week. So what can you do with a podcast? <laughs> you can do whatever you want to, uh, you really. Can, yeah, you can do just about anything. Thank you for reminding me that we went from soft skills about people's skills and, and yeah. connecting with people yeah. to quantum physics right. with the astrophysicist. Here on with an astrophysicist, and that was sir, uh, one I was very in, in, involved and engaged in, and uh, I can assure you I know nothing about uh, astrophysics. Oh, uh, I think so. you do. I think you were asking about <laughs> neutron stars or something like that. Read it in USA Today. Well, That's the only it, reason. Wasn't it, wasn't it great, though, <laughs> yeah. to, to be able to yeah. have a conversation that goes in so many different directions, and you can, you can fine-tune it, you can make it broad and cover a lot of areas, or you can be very... Sp- precise and, and, and drill down in the conversation and get to know what you want to know. Because if you're in that podcast, you can ask the question, right? Yeah. Uh, somebody may have that information and ready to give it to you. Wow, that makes for a nice learning moment. And I think we haven't said too much about that, but the idea of, of Columbus podcasting is really about learning in so many ways. So Mike and Tom, two retired professors, engaging in a brand new startup business. You're hearing the business plan as we develop it. I am looking at the planning points on the wall. Uh, and you are you're here with us at the at the ground floor. So we thought we'd give you sort of a uh, a ground floor look at how a business startup looks and uh, talk a little bit about what we're doing. And hey, if you're interested in this, we're interested in you. So ColumbusPodcasting.com, uh, Mike Baltimore, Dr. Mike Baltimore, Dr. Tom Hackett, two retired professors there just looking are. for what where life's going to take us with this startup. Well, we, we love it, and, and we're so glad that people are listening, and we want to invite you. If you just want to come down and meet with us, take a tour, we'll take you to lunch. Come on. We're, we're that easy uh, to deal with. Uh, we, we want to invite you to give us a call or come by our studios, be a part of what we're doing here. Think about it for your business. Think about it for your group. The, you know, it covers so many areas. It's not just about new businesses. It's, it's really about the things that people are interested in. And when you have a message and you want to share that message with others, this is going to be a great platform for you to start. We have a lot of interest right now. We're going to continue to build. We want you to be a part of this. So, uh, think about us, ColumbusPodcasting.com. Go to their website, check out all the information, give us a call. 
come by and visit. We're happy to talk with you. And please stay tuned for Podcast 6, Talk with Mike and Tom, the new improved episode where we tackle Steven Pinker, the scientist, the neuroscientist who is uh, talking about enlightenment. Uh, it's a heavy book. Hope you read it, but uh, read it ahead of time because no, we, uh, we're we, going to hit it hard next all podcast. Right, we're, we're, this is interesting. You're giving us the preview here. You're, this is called a teaser, folks. Uh, so this guy basically is saying that the world's getting better, and he has the statistics to prove it. Now, wait a minute. It's oh, a wait. tough old world, isn't it? Everything's trending down. Everything's bad. Everything across the globe is bad. News is bad. Isn't that right? I got news for you, Tom. You're going to have to tune in to the next episode to see how this turns out. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, everybody, for listening. Michael Baltimore on behalf of Tom Hackett. This is Talk with Mike and Tom. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody.